Cheers. Cheers. That's strong, man. I mean, we had to have some proper 12. Uh, we got some technical difficulties. So if you guys hear like a dripping sound, <laughs> it's because my roof is leaking. And if the sound sounds like too echoey, it's because we couldn't put uh, uh, carpet because it was just going to soak up the carpet. So, you know, we're just going to we're going to do it live, baby. We're going to we're going to go. Have you ever seen that? There's this video of this um, newscaster. And they can't get anything right. Like the lights get fucked up. The prompter gets <laughs> fucked up. So he goes, fuck it. We'll do it live. He just starts screaming at people. He's like, you guys don't know how to do your job. I'm just going to fucking do it. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. Mm. Uh, that'll make it work. Yeah. Let me, let me do the intro and then uh, we'll keep, we'll start from there. All right. What's up guys. And welcome to the, isn't it crazy podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Perez. And if you're listening to this on Spotify or anywhere else to get this podcast from, just know that I do have a video version of the show on YouTube. Just go on there and search up the Isn't It Crazy podcast. And while you're there, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And they must know we're doing the podcast because your phone is blowing the fuck, fuck up. Dude. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Just let it, just let it go. I right, fuck it. <laughs> Super unprofessional, bro. You should have turned it off the moment you got here. I thought it was on silent. <laughs> <laughs> just... Well, my guest today is uh, my friend and my coworker, Ruben Murillo. A.K. BZ, A.K. Ruben. Well, why do they call you BZ? Because of the because uh, play video games. It all started with uh, I am not even sure. Like I trying to come up with like a cool name when I used to like play Call of Duty back then, mm -hmm. and uh, it started with uh, well, my name is Ruben, so I try to like I try to like cut it in half and be like. Ben, I started with like Benzi or Benzo. I, it was something like that. So it was a working progress. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm like, I don't like it. So I went with, uh, uh, how did I go? It went something like Rubenzi or some shit like that. <laughs> and I switched it to that. I'm like, no, that's way too long. Uh, so then that's I, looking... and finally I'm like, I'm like BZ. And then I just did the two letters B and Z. That's a cool, that's a cool like username. And I then, like yeah. And then I just, I stuck with that. And then, People were telling me, don't put B and Z, put B, E, 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 Z. Like y. clean it up. Yeah, clean it up. Yeah. And then eventually I started changing it. <clears throat> Gradually started changing. And then uh, so it just stuck to that. So now it's just BZ. Yeah. Or is I it mean, BZ TV or whatever? TTV. BZ. I mean, BZ. TV. Yeah, it's basically B's. And I just added the A, like A. But that's pretty much it. And that's for PlayStation 4. <laughs> Yeah, PlayStation Network. So if you want to see somebody game out like a pro, like I, you're honestly the best player I know <laughs> on Battlefield. Like when we play, I take like the second role, like the Scotty Pippen role. <laughs> I'm just there for support. Like I'm just watching you murder everybody. And I'm just there to like pick you up if you need the help. Yeah, I mean, I've always been that <clears throat> competitive player. And uh, would you say it's an addiction to video games? Yeah, I am. I'm like, it's an addiction for me at least. Yeah. Like, you have to play it every yeah. day. Yeah. And, I mean, like I said, you guys have seen me rage fucking huge. Like, big time rage out of the limits. You, yeah, you have broken <laughs> plenty of fucking controls in your lifetime. Yeah, I'm play I, I'll say about at least, like, 20. But you could see the competitiveness. Because, like, we'll play and we'll get killed. And we'll be like, fuck it. You respawn and you're going to play another round. But when they kill you, you, <laughs> it's like you say things that... As if they could hear you. Yeah. Like they kill you and you'll be like, you cocksucking bitch. Like, <laughs> I hope your fucking mom hates you or some shit like that. Like you just always go hard. And it's just like, it's hilarious to us. Like, yeah. I don't mind it at all. I mean, I do it a lot because I mean, obviously I don't mean those things. I just, <laughs> I just say it because I'm like so mad. <laughs> yeah. But it is like, like a lot of people have told me it's pretty entertaining and it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. Um, so I, do I can it. do I can do without the yelling all the time. Yeah, but yeah, like I mean, when yeah, you I mean, rage, it's hilarious. Yeah, like there's times where I'm just like, fuck, I have to like mute my mic. To, Dude, so we have to lower our <laughs> volume because you're yelling the whole fucking game. Yeah, and like the thing that I find the most funny about that is like when people tell me like <clears throat> I could be doing so fucking good in the game mm -hmm. and then they just like come to me and like or just say to me. Dude, how are you raging? You're like the top player in our team. What, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, you're number on? one. Like, why are you so mad? It's just like, I built up this rage where I'm like, I know I'm good. 
but I can't just be dying like an idiot or dying to the worst player in the game. And then look, they're probably like, oh, look, I just killed the best player in the game. And yeah. I'm like, that's why I feel. That's your, why. Your brother actually always says, he goes, hey, what do you want? Like a perfect run? Nobody <laughs> fucking kills you. You just get like a thousand kills every fucking game. Like, I mean, you me, get close. What, like a hundred? You average a hundred kills per game. If we do those like long ones. Breakthrough, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> it's not that like me. I like dying to actual gunfights. Like where we, let's like, say we run up to each other. Yeah. We just aim at each other and fucking start shooting. Whoever, if they kill me, I'll be like, fuck it. That's why I don't get mad. When I get killed to a guy laying on the ground or some guy who was just like behind me or just camping, that's what gets me like triggered. I'm like, fuck, dude, oh, give you, me a fight. Yeah, like they're just being like elusive or tricky to get. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why I like, that's mo mostly, or that's like the main thing I get mad about. But so you I mean, mainly play Battlefield. Like that's your game to play. <clears throat> that's my Just because they're probably wondering like, what is he, what game is he getting so I mean, bad? I used to play Call of Duty. Is it but Fortnite? Is it? No, nah, Fortnite I stopped playing because it got too, like, we work way too much. So like, yeah, I never had the time to actually look up videos and they do all this editing and all this. There was uh, a time when everybody was really into Fortnite. Yeah, because it wasn't as competitive as it is now. Like, there's so many good players. Like, they, they're they just insane. Like, you watch videos and you're just like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, like, dude, I cannot play Fortnite. Like, yeah, I still have it because I worked so fucking hard to get that, <laughs> that wolf. wolf. <laughs> yeah, on Halloween. Dude, it took me like, I just remember seeing it. I saw somebody kill me with it and I was like, I have to have it. But you have to like do like a bunch of mini challenges. Yeah. And I already sucked at the game. So it took me like twice as long as a regular person would. So yeah. once I got it, I was like, I can never delete this game because I I worked yeah. too hard for it, you know? Yeah, and sadly, I actually deleted Fortnite. Did you? Yeah, Damn, you had all, a shit ton of skins. After too. all that money that I put into that game, at least I would say... How I'm much not, would you spend? Because I like asking people how much they would spend <clears throat> on a video game. And the most I've heard is like 200. I've wasted more than, way what? more than that. How way much? more. I'm talking thousands. Thousands of dollars on Fortnite? <laughs> it's free. I know. You know how much like, I spent on Fortnite? Zero dollars, sir. <laughs> I worked for all my skins. I mean, I I imagine I used to play Xbox. Remember that? Yeah. And then at a, on Xbox One, I used to have an account there and I used to have a shit ton of skins too, at least over 50 skins. Yeah. So just imagine I, I switched over to PS4 and I have over 80 skins on there. So that's like... You did have a fucking Xbox. Yeah, I still have it. I remember we made fun of you. No, first we made fun of Hever. No, Hever, because I, I, I was actually the first one that actually switched over to, to PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, and then we made fun of Hever, and then he's and then like, he I don't care. Yeah, and he he's was, like, I don't care if you guys make fun of me. But then like the peer pressure got to him where he bought the fucking X or the PlayStation 4. Yeah, we got him to like, basically like we kind of like Dude, bullied him to change. And for he did. days. It was like nonstop. Like, <laughs> remember, we'd be like... Oh, what are you going to do when you get home? Play my PlayStation 4? And he'd be like, what the fuck? And you'd be like, oh, you don't have one? Oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah, I remember that perfectly because we, we he kept he like, he kept admitting, he's like, no, I'm not going to buy it. And look what happened. He ended up getting the PS4. He doesn't even touch that. Xbox you know what? Anymore. Maybe he wanted to buy it, but there was a point where somebody said, like, you should get it. And he's yeah. like, I'm not going to do it because you said it. Yeah. You I, know? Mean, I mean, look at the whole thing with the, with the chair. The monitor, the dust. Yeah, now he's like, now he's like, now he's like a full on gamer. Like, <clears throat> it, he, I'll give him this. Once he found Apex, it was like, it was not Fortnite. So he's like, this is my game. Yeah, yeah. And he just devoted so many times. Like you said before we even started the podcast, if you do something enough times, you'll become a beast at it. And yeah. him playing Apex is like watching you play Battlefield. It's just like, there's some like instinct that you guys have. While you're playing these games that you're like, how the fuck? Yeah. You know, like you're just there to watch. You're there. You're like in the crowd. You're not even playing. You're just like, these guys are so fucking good. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. Like I've told a lot of people this about basically everything I do. Like I'm good at watching a video and or watching somebody do something and I'll learn off of it. So like, reenacting the, yeah. what they do. So yeah. like with guitar, that's how I learned guitar from that. Just watching videos. Yeah. And then same with Battlefield. <clears throat> I would watch YouTubers play and I would literally follow their footsteps. Like, okay, he says he go this way. I go this way. Shoot, shoot like this and like this and whatever. Uh -huh. And then eventually I kind of like caught onto it. And that's why I became like a really good player because I just caught onto their like. Their um, tendencies. Yeah. Yeah. And their skills. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it didn't no, just happen just for me. Cause I, I'm like, basically I'm new to Battlefield because Battlefield 5 is like my 
literally my first Battlefield I've ever played. And uh, because I've always been a Call of Duty player. Yeah, I was going to ask, have you always played Battlefield? Because they have a couple of them. No, Battlefield 5 is literally my first Battlefield. I mean, I bought Battlefield 3, but I never played it like that. Like, Haver would play with a bunch of our friends. friends. Yeah. But I would always play, like, uh, Call of Duty and, like, I would trick shot, Mm. snipe, quick scope, all that type of thing. So I'm like, I was never really into Battlefield. <clears throat> until battle, I mean, until Call of Duty started changing and like started adding, adding like exo suits and yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit. Once Battle uh, Call of Duty three came out, or was it three or four, where they could walk like run on walls, it became like Halo. The first game was uh, it was actually called Advanced Warfare, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Advanced Warfare is like you like had this little tw- 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 and you shoot upwards. Yeah, and then Fortnite said, "Hold my <clears throat> fucking <laughs> hold my gun good. here, because we're about to take over the fucking game." It's crazy how Fortnite started it all. Like, the whole Battle Royale. The Royale. Yeah. Well, no, actually, they didn't. It was actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was PUBG. Yeah, PUBG. Fortnite, yeah. Fortnite, Fortnite just grew Didn't huge. they sue Fortnite? I'm not even sure. To be you honest. know what's hilarious? We're shooting this podcast. And I'm already a little tipsy because I haven't even drank. <laughs> like, you know, that's like straight away from the whole PUBG thing. But like, Ever's going to go to the restaurant and be alone for like 30 minutes. And what's even funnier is that you can watch Kevin play like from here and he's just getting murked the whole fucking time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, dude. Yeah, so PUBG started it. Then Fortnite kind of like <clears throat> build did off. the whole the jump bus or whatever. Yeah, I started doing that whole building thing. That's yeah, what a lot of people like. That's liked. what changed the game. The whole that building thing. That was a big like, yeah. And then the fact that the, like they were free. Yeah, like, true. They were that, all yeah. free. Well, that's crazy because like they give you a free <clears throat> game. And then they have people like you who are degenerates at, at fucking video games and you spend thousands of dollars. Yeah. You literally, it, Ari was the one that told me I spent $200 because he bought the 99 pack, the $99 one, which gave you like oh, yeah. 5,000 coins or something like that. And then he bought it twice just to get like skins and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, basically. So I was like, dude, $200 for a fucking video game? You're insane. Like you could pay 60 bucks for a regular one. And then you're over here like, but what <laughs> made you spend that much money on? And you know, because I play the game a lot. I used to, I mean, I used to play the game a lot. And when you have skins, when like, I remember when I would play with a bunch of friends, random people too. Is it like a status thing? Yeah, like it makes you look like cooler. Cooler because you like, this guy plays a shit ton. I want to uh, play with him. Yeah. Like this guy is on the game all the time. So that's why I'm like. I do play a shit ton. I, well, I am like I said, I did yeah. play at that time, but like Battlefield, I play a lot. Dude, you play hours. <clears throat> yeah, I play a shit ton. You know what's crazy? PlayStation tells you how long you've been online. Yeah, it's kind of And sad. every time you look at your things, like we get out of work <laughs> at the same time. So like it's like 12 maybe, right? And you get home like around one. So you take a shower, eat something. Yeah. And it just says four hours at the end of the day. I'm just like, damn, he put in some work. Yeah, I like putting in work because I mean, I like every day. I get better and better, I think. I think also the thing that you like is the community that you are involved with. You know, you say you play with like a bunch of like clans, like the Ice clan and, yeah. you know, like other people and you meet people that way. So it's like a social interaction when you go home. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that helps a lot because I'm like, first of all, like I used to be able to play by myself and I just go home and play, like, play by, like hop on Battlefield play. Mm-hmm. Now I feel like, fuck, I need to play with somebody. Because I'm so accustomed, like playing with these people that the clan I'm in eyes, and they're all really good. Yeah, and obviously they call me. <clears throat> they gave me a nickname. They call me like the grumpy rusher. That's what they keep telling me. Oh, because you get mad. Because I get yeah, I get like I get mad, but they they call me the rusher because I rush and I yeah. fucking take down like a shit ton of enemies. And well, then, they, like, they, that's your style. Like, yeah, that's my wanna... style. I've always had. That. I don't know where I got it from, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't from that YouTuber I watched. His name's Maxique. Because he does rush, but like not like the way I do. Yeah. I rush and I like want to kill as many as enemies as I can. I want to try to hit clips, record them so I can like make it as a YouTube video. Yeah. And uh, I, mean, I guess you, that's my own style. I guess. Well, have you thought about like streaming? Because I've always, I told you that a long uh, time ago. I was like, dude, you have to stream your shit. I mean, I have thought about it because I'm like, dude. I know you were nervous to do this like podcast so like is it like a nervous thing or is it oh no it's just the fact that i don't want people to like get annoyed of me when i rage 
Because, I mean, I know the way Isn't I that, am. like, big? Don't those videos get more views Dude, than just the regular yeah, shit? Yeah, they do. Because I'd rather watch somebody freak the fuck out like you do because everybody has played with you. Can tell you, like, I'll attest to this. It's, it's hard to play with you because you yell all the time. <laughs> but the moments where you rage, like, you get mad and you quit. Yeah. When you leave the lobby, you quit. <clears throat> but yeah. we are laughing our asses off at the end. Like, we're like... We're like, yeah, he quit. He quit again. Yeah, he fucking just disconnected the whole thing. But we're laughing because we're like, did he really just say that about that guy? <laughs> like, we're just laughing. Yeah, so I it's say like, so really fucked up shit. I think that would be more entertaining on YouTube than some dude getting a bunch of kills, you know? like Yeah, yeah, because like, you know what? I, You know where I like, I kind of like, no, I didn't build off of it, but like, I kind of like realized, oh, I'm literally like this guy because I used to watch his he used to have this video, like his little like playlist of rage Taj's, mm -hmm. which he used to like basically montages, yeah, yeah like montages like, of him raging. Yeah, uh, his name's Phase Jeff. I don't know if you heard of him. I he, he literally part of the fucking Phase. Yeah, he's Phase. He's, he's part a of clan, Phase. Yeah, clan. um, he is literally like the one guy that I would watch that he would rage like big time during that time at least, and that's where I kind of like, dude, I'm literally like this guy. Dude, if you gave me an option between. <laughs> Some guy just getting like 10 kills or some guy getting five kills, but fucking raging and quitting. I'm going to choose that <laughs> video. So I'm saying like, I've always told you this from the start, like you're good enough to stream alone, who you are and how you play and how you rage adds a little more spice to the whole yeah. situation. I mean, yeah. I mean, I would like to, I just got to just get a fucking camera and just do the damn thing and then build from there, you know, like Video game streamers make a shit ton of money. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, so you like first-person shooter games? Yeah, that's literally my favorite. That's, yeah. I don't really like... Like, I've seen all this, like, Warcraft type... Uh, or, or, I, I never understood I, that I, shit. I never understood any of those I'm sure it's either. fun if you get it. Maybe if it's... I mean, maybe, like, they were brought up from, like, games before that that were similar. Mm -hmm. But me, I was brought up from... From, uh... It was called... What was uh, the first video game you played? First video game that I remember... Um, it was called Fighting Four Sixty Four. Oh, so it wasn't even like a shooting game. No, it was actually a fighting game. It was like a, a big buff guy, uh, smaller guy, but he was buff. Yeah, and it was two chicks, and you had to like fight all these, all these like what agents. The hell? It was from Nintendo Sixty Four. Oh, so you started young. Yeah, like as a kid. Yeah, I remember that game perfectly because I was like, yeah, that was like it, my favorite game. It's weird. Like you'll you'll ask guys, you'll be like, oh, like. What's one of your fondest memories? And most people will tell you video games if you're a guy. Yeah. Like for me, it was GoldenEye. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. See, and that was during yeah. the same time as that game. So yeah. I remember GoldenEye and that. One of, one of the best memories we have from GoldenEye is I, my mom would throw me a pizza party every year for my birthday, right? And this kid Angel brought over his GoldenEye copy. And <laughs> so we put it on. And you know how they had the split screens for yeah. four people? So he's across the room. And he goes, you're lucky I could see you. And the kid's like, you could see me? He goes, yeah, I could see you. So he turns and shoots him in the fucking head. And then he dies. And everybody started laughing. Because they were like, why <laughs> would you tell him where you were at? Just shoot the fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. And then like, that was one of my fondest moments growing up with video games. Yeah, I mean. Which is like crazy because everybody can connect to that. Yeah, and I mean, like, I remember like my, like the most fairy thing that I used to like about video games, like. Especially special like like releases like Call of Duty, when I would go to like the the premieres. Oh yeah, and they would ask you trivia, and then give you like maybe a poster if you answered yeah. it right and shit. Yeah, and then you would have competitions like they have like two TVs and uh, at GameStop you compete at GameStop. No, it'd be like at a restaurant, and like they'll have TVs there. What? Yeah, where? Haver Haver and I actually went uh for that. That's wild. Haver won one of them. Really. I'm surprised. And, and that, that, that's more surprising than the whole thing being a competition. And imagine like how competitive I am. When I lost, Haver was like, that's bullshit. That motherfucker screen checked your, like, his, oh, uh, he was we're, looking at the screen. He was looking at my screen. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm really good. I know how to play. And then Haver like, was like, how the fuck did you lose? Dude, you're literally probably like the best one here. Yeah. And then him to just beat you. Yeah, dude. When, whenever we played with my cousins, we'd have to put a sheet. Over, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So they couldn't fucking see, and, and my cousin would literally every time there was no sheet, he would always win, because he was doing what you said. Like they would like look at your screen, and every time we put the sheet on, he never fucking won. 
Yeah. And I, mean, I was like, you fucking I was, bitch. Yeah, I was pretty upset because I'm like, dude, this guy, first of all, Zachary was terrible. Uh -huh. He killed me with one bullet. Like, he turned and started shooting at me, and I got to turn and shoot him a couple times. And basically, like, when the way I shot him, I know the feeling, like, when you shoot somebody, like, okay, he's like two, three bullets away from dying. But this, when I shot him, I was like, he's one bullet away from dying. Yeah. He, but he killed me and I lost. Fuck. But the, the good thing. Was there like a prize to the whole? I mean, it was a poster and then uh, I forgot out what else, but I have her won though. I just all I remember. Have her won. He threw, I remember him like one of the maps, he threw the grenade, like a uh, Semtex. Yeah. He threw it over like some building and like randomly got the guy. It was a 1v1. Yeah. Like, it was basically 1v1s the whole time. And I'm like, dude, how the fuck do you get so lucky? <laughs> Yeah, I remember like dude, in, he's always been lucky as fuck. No, no, no. Hever might be one of the I I like playing with him because he's my friend. But if somebody's talking shit to you on the other side, Hever will not back you up. Uh. Like they will say some <laughs> raunchy shit and Hever's just like, ah, can we just fucking play? I'm like, dude, you have to back <clears> me up. <throat> like when we play and somebody starts talking shit, we just pile on. Oh, dude. Hever, I don't care how good he is at a fucking video game. The worst part about him is that he doesn't Back, back you up. up. He just like lets them talk shit. See, one thing people gotta know about me when I play, <clears throat> I have no fucking limits. I will literally tell you straight to your face that you suck. Yeah, you do. And I'm like, it's kind of hurtful. Sometimes. No, I don't tell you that. You do. No, you, I'm just, no, you don't say it, but you say it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You're just it's like, it's that competitive spirit. That that I have. No, dude. Sometimes, like, you'll die if you're like, dude, our teammates aren't doing shit. I'm like the only teammate around, and you're like, come on, fucking suck. I'm like, I know you're talking about me. Just say you're talking about me. No, I literally <laughs> talk about our whole team as a, as a whole, as a whole. Really? Because like, we take it as us. Like, we're like, no, yeah, I was right next no, to you. No, I was saying, no, because I have Hever knows that I always talk about, like, oh, our team sucks. And when I say, our, when I like my squad, when it sucks and I'm leader, I'll be like, dude, my squad sucks. Yeah. I'm not going to be like straight up sitting there like, dude, my fucking squad sucks dick. Like shit. And I'm like, no, I'm not, I don't say You're shit like that. Yeah. But You're I'll nice be like, guy. my team sucks. Because I start looking at like, once I die, I mm -hmm. hold start on the controller and you can see the whole score. And I'm like, I start looking like the stats. I'm like, how's everybody doing? I'm like, dude, I'm playing like shit. I can only imagine what the rest of my team's doing like. <laughs> Yeah, most likely, like, shit. Yeah, and, like... Dude, there's been times where, like, you look at the <clears throat> scoreboard, because the good thing about Battlefield is you could press that button that shows you what everybody's doing. Yeah. And, like, you... Clearly, you, Hever, and, like... Who else do we play with? Your brother? My brother. That, uh... What is, like, Hybrid Veins or some shit like that? Hybrid Veins. Yeah, so, like, you could see that, like, you guys are at the top, and then, like... It's like some average players like me and whoever else is playing. And then some dog shit just from like, cause what is it like? One to 32 on each team, right? 32, yeah. So like after 15, everybody's negative. It's sort of like <laughs> 9 and 13 or fucking 0 and 12. Like It's kind of funny. I have a friend who's from Mexico. His name's Arathox, mm -hmm. something like that. He literally tells me every time we play or when I play and he joins my lobbies. He's like, dude, if I see you under five, like the top five. He'll kick you out? No, no, no. No, he, I'm better than him. Oh, okay. But he's just saying like, dude, oh, if I see like, like, whoa, let's like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. No, he knows. He always tells me. He even commented on my video. Okay. He's just like, dude. <laughs> he commented on my latest video on, oh. my, on my channel. He's just like, dude, you are the best infantry player I've ever met. I can never top your, your uh, like your tier. It's, imp it, look, it's not like I'm fucking rubbing your cock or anything. I'm just saying it's impressive that's why i always i've told you from the fucking beginning show the world what you can do yeah i mean you know like if people are telling you and it's not just your friends who are being like dude you're fucking good at something do that yeah because you are like it's like it's amazing to see like because part of me like Obviously, we're all competitive. Yeah. Dude, we're right. competitive at work. Oh, hell yeah. You know, dude, we're, we're trying to finish before the next person. It's, it's in us. And I think it's a good thing to be competitive. But then I look at you and it's like, I wish I could do that. And you do it. So I'm just like. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Like, why I find it super crazy. I'm like, my friends who introduced me to this game, they're, they've been in this game before. Longer, yeah. Longer, yeah. longer and longer. Mm hmm and then I ended up like fucking like being better. Almost not mastering because I know I haven't mastered the game yet. 
But I've been like, no, dude, you did, and now you're just you pursue perfection to the point where if somebody kills you, you get mad. Yeah, because it, like you get to that point where you're like, you know, you're good. Like, how are you just gonna get basically <laughs> fucking destroyed like that? It's part of the game. You're gonna die eventually. Yeah, eventually. But you don't understand that. You're just like, fuck this fucking loser. <laughs> like, and then you break your controller. So who really won? You or the guy who killed you? Because you broke your controller and the guy just got a fucking... Now I'm going to have to go to his house and tell him, motherfucker, go buy me a new (laughs) controller. (laughs) Can you buy expensive controllers, too? Yeah, I mean, that scuff. Dude, you buy a lot of expensive shit. Look at your watch. How much is that watch? Uh, About a thousand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... Dude, that watch costs more than all my watches there. It's a gold. (laughs) It's a Movado. Although, I did get a Movado, but it's not... Completely metal, so it was like half. So it was like four hundred, and I got it. That's still free. nice, though. I like yours. And yeah, you know, I, mean, I I thought about getting a gold Movado, but I'm like, Ruben has it, so I'm not even gonna get it. You should though, because mm. I want to get. An, uh, I'll get another one, and then once, and then we can just call each other and be oh, like, "Hey, are you know. wearing gold today?" <laughs> yeah, and then we're like, "No." <laughs> what but are you gonna I, get? What are you gonna get? A black one? Just uh, just a black. I don't know, just any watch. Dude, my one. favorite part of the Movados is that like, see this hinge? It's just a one. Yours is two. These two? Yeah, that's fucking This insane. one gets stuck because it's kind of like old already. But you know what that reminds me of? The Rolexes. Rolexes oh, do yeah, that, yeah. 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 Or, um... <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Kevin! Dude, then turn it down, you fuckface. We're shooting a podcast. <laughs> Dude. Sorry, everybody. My fucking assistant. Kind of ruined the podcast. No, they're just hearing you die. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Dude, dude, I could see you playing right now and you fucking blow. Can you lower it? The controller's right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like <laughs> dealing with a child. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you like expensive shit. I'll tell you that. Much. I do. Like, I had the what? The GoPro Hero 8. I, I was going to ask you to borrow that. I, I want to sh- make like a, a, a whole day. <clears throat> like, I wake up. I go to the gym, I go work, I go home, I do a podcast, and then I play video games, and then I'll just make it like a montage video. That's what I want to do. So, let me borrow it. If you want to, yeah, I could. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Didn't you buy like all the fucking headsets and shit? Yeah, I have like the, the headpiece, the chest piece, the, the monopod. Well, you know, you know I've, I've, I've always enjoyed our conversations <clears throat> when we talk about like clothes. Because you, uh. you know how like, I can't talk to Heather. About clothes. He's so basic. He does, yeah. <laughs> he has like this ever. plain, plain Jane. And I've told him, I'm like, dude, everything you wear is black. So he buys a a yellow flannel and he thinks he changed up his whole wardrobe. Like, I know we're just, we should just name this the Let's Talk Shit About Haver podcast. We're going to name it half part of that. <laughs> well, I, I of want Haver to be on this podcast. How about this? Today at dinner, I'll ask him to be on the podcast. And let's see what he says. Look at his reaction. Look at his reaction because... There's times where, like, I will be talking about the podcast. Yeah. And he just, like, checks out. Yeah, he's just like, I'm not sure. I, he, the, his biggest, his biggest excuse is, like, um, I don't know. I don't have time. I have to work out. Uh, I have to do this for, for, for my parents or something. Like, no, he always comes up with some type of excuse. I'll, I'll get him on here. I'll get him on here. <laughs> I want to see this guy. Because I know, I know he feels a certain type of way <clears> about <throat> you coming on. Because he's like, oh, I've known you longer or some shit like that. Yeah, I mean, imagine. Well, oh my God, Kevin, can you fucking turn it down? There's a controller right next to you. It's a little <laughs> black controller. Just just push the down. Just push the it down. The one time I'm in the podcast, Kevin ruins it. Dude, this whole, <laughs> this whole podcast. Listen, if you guys are listening to this, uh, if they made it this far. This podcast already started in the wrong foot. One, Ruben was late because he's always late to everything. He's late to work and he's late to here. Two, my fucking roof was leaking. <laughs> Three, Kevin promised he wasn't going to make any fucking noise. And look at him now. just And four, getting Haber murdered. is waiting for us at a restaurant. Yeah, and, and four, <laughs> we're supposed to go eat. And six, I'm kind of drunk. And I don't honestly know. Oh, we have to go. All right. Listen, I'll have you back on in two weeks and we'll have a longer fucking show. 
I know you were you were a little nervous to do this. You told me the whole fucking week at work. But, but I feel good. I'm not like right. Super, yeah, it's I mean, like once I, you're here, it's just so for the next one, I'll be good. No, so. you were great this time. Well, thank you for coming in. Um, no I'll try to edit it as best as I can to make it good. <laughs> to be tough with this guy over here. <laughs> oh my fucking dude! I'm gonna murder him when we get done with this shit. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening. Hopefully, you guys, uh, Ruben inspired you guys to watch or play more video games. I know there's a stigma to it. You know that people think like I'm too grown for that shit. And yeah, I mean, it's not all about compet uh, competitiveness. I mean, that's just me because I mean I've been into. The, like the competitive scene for like years now <clears throat> because I've been playing video games since I was like, shh, I don't even know when, but it's all, it's all by character. And I mean, it's all up to you too. And like whoever wants to, if you like video games like that, like I do, cause I do. You love video games. I love them. Like, that's like my life. Like I could literally not go out for a whole weekend. <laughs> And play and just the that. whole weekend, which I did last week. Well, this weekend you're not, dude. This weekend you're going to have some drinks, some For, steaks. Well, I need to have a good time at least, too. watch the fights. Well, hopefully we, we get to. <laughs> dude, it's five. <laughs> and well, we, we have to. We still got dinner. A 45-minute drive. So hopefully, that we, minute hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're we're sober enough. And I'm already fucked up. Like I already feel it. Like I just threw my <laughs> fucking phone. The Uber's coming. People are probably laughing because we're all fucking I'm fucked up. That's fine. Well that's what makes things cooler. Just being yourself. Well, some of my favorite podcasts to do is to bring somebody in and talk to them about their interests and stuff like that. So for your first po- for your first podcast, you did great, man. Next yeah, time, man. next time you'll come with that that confidence that like you did. Ask Kevin. Kevin talked so much shit until he got on. Like he was like, "Oh, dude, I could do this. I'm I'm ready." The moment that fucking camera turned on, he was like, "I'm nervous." So he got tense. And then once we started talking, it it became normal to him. And now he just hops on. We talk about <laughs> MMA and stuff like that. So I'm sure you will. This will not be your first. And last time you'll come on. I won't. Yeah. I mean, I, I I like I just gotta get like a little little like gist to it. I'm like, okay now. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm I'm good. I'm two good. weeks. In two weeks you'll come back on. And we'll have a we won't have a different fucking <laughs> water fountain in my fucking room. Well we have any we have any, we won't have any extraction. <laughs> we won't have anything going on. We don't got nobody playing video games and the <laughs> headphones dying on them. We won't have any dripping. We won't have any people waiting for us at restaurants. So we have yeah. nothing going on. Then we'll just talk about other shit. We'll, we'll just, talk about we just fashion like, and yeah. We mellow just chilling here. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming in and, and doing this for me. No problem. And thank you for having me. All right. Ruben Marillo, everybody. Well, thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't yet, like, subscribe, and also follow on Instagram. Do you have, you said you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's literally called It's Space BZ. B-Z is B-E-E-Z-A-Y-E. And uh, I, YouTube. Right? Yeah, YouTube. Perfect. All right, I'll put the link down below so they could just click on it. And Sounds thank you for good. doing it again, man. Let's go get some steaks. Let's go watch Connor knock the fuck out of somebody. Hell yeah. And let's have a good night. All right, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.